morning, Mr. President of the Web Chapter of Cum Laude Society. I welcome you to the Cum Laude Induction Ceremony. And that's a very honored society. Those of us uh, who, are, who are members, connect the new members from the school. And one of those members, we'll talk to you about it, that's Kelly Morphin, member of the Web Chapter.
members, the Society's motto is comprised of three Greek words, which each member should hold as personal goals and should endeavor to encourage the society at large. They are arete, which is excellence, and includes the concept of excellence in the moral sense and is not limited to the ideal of superiority and scholarship. Cum laude society members should strive for excellence in all they do. DK, which is justice, and includes the concept of what is suitable and appropriate as well as just. The Scottish scholar W.K.C. Guthrie describes this as minding your own business, doing the right thing, or following the way which is properly your own, and not mixing yourself up in the ways of other people and trying to do their jobs for them. And Time, or honor, which includes the concept of dignity and true worth as well as respect. Time is given to you by others as you live out a life marked by arete, as we are doing here today. We hope that these words will continue to be your hallmarks. It's a pleasure to welcome you to the Cum Laude Society. Mr. Barrett, another faculty member for the web chapter, will now introduce our speaker. Congratulations, Cum Laude Society. <clears throat> Judith Hill is a poet, performer, a writing teacher, author, who makes her home uh, in, the, in the splendor of the Rockies Front Range, the Ponderosa and the Aspen Covered Mountains of Northern Colorado. She was educated at Sarah Lawrence College. She later studied with poet Robert Bly, a deep ecologist, Dolores LaChapelle, and storyteller Gia Tempanelli. And she is the recipient of many grants from the Witter Viner Poetry Foundation, the McCune Foundation, and the New Mexico Endowment for the Humanities. She has served from 1994 to 2000 as Literary Projects Coordinator for the New Mexico Arts, the Division of the New Mexico State Office of Cultural Affairs, and she is the current president of the Penn San Miguel chapter. Judith conducts poetry workshops at writing conferences in New Mexico and across the United States, especially here at the Webb School. She leads teacher trainings for poetry instruction in elementary and high schools and poetry <coughs> and galleries workshops and teacher trainings for museums. She has authored poetry curriculum for the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum and the Folk Art Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She is a good friend, a wonderful poet, a fantastic teacher, and I'm thrilled to have her speak with you guys. Please welcome Judith Hill. Okay? 
okay? Really, drink these words in. Because I'm going to tell you that if you will know what your dream is in this life, and you make a choice, and you walk towards it as best you can, and you believe. I mean, look, do you think that when I was going to college in Sarah Lawrence, if I said, oh, you know what, I'm going to have a career as a poet, and I'm going to get paid to go teach poetry and drink cappuccino and eat uh, croissants in France. You think anyone said, yeah, you are? <laughs> the thing is, I knew, I knew from the time I was a very, very young girl that I loved poetry. That it was my gift. And I also know that when you die, God does not ask you, did you pick up your dry cleaning? <laughs> The question we all are holding is, what am I going to do with this amazing life, this amazing gift? And so I praise you, and I want to say that one of the things you're going to do with your gift, you guys, and I'm going to invite everyone here to win, is be part of a growing praise culture. This moment that we're having where we're honoring our friends for what they've done. Take this to heart. And in your life, when you see someone doing something well, go out of your way to say something to them. I love that poem you wrote. I love what you said in class. I love the way, I love what you look like. I love whatever. Be a praiser. Add to the praise in this world. You know, we're, a little interesting secret about this is we all in, in here in chapel, I bet we say the songs very often, yes? I bet they're read to us, yes? In Hebrew, the word for song is tihilim. And you know what that means? It means praise. So I want to say that whatever you're doing, dream your dream, believe in it, walk towards it, praise others, and be grateful. At this moment, the strongest thing, as the year ends, is to think about everyone, everyone, all the support that you got in this school. And before you leave, thank each other. Thank everyone who showed up for you. And then we, this is really how we're going to build a different kind of culture in America. By being grateful, by being praising, by showing up, by believing.